introduce him first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet four inches tall. Official weight, 170.7 pounds. He is fighting out of Liverpool in England. And brings with him to the cage a professional record of 11 wins with eight defeats. Introducing Brian, the big bad wolf, Creighton. Standing opposite him in the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet eight inches tall. Official weight. 133.9 pounds. He is fighting on a blind Navon in Wales and brings into the cage a professional record of 10 wins with four defeats. Introducing Josh Crazy Horse Reed. Your referee in charge and the action begins, Mr. Rich Mitchell. Referee Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three five minute rounds in the Cage Warriors at Bantamweight division. If they need them. The big bad wolf Brian Crichton in the black. The crazy horse Josh Reed in the dark brown grey and red trim. We are underway and you can immediately see what we spoke about briefly during the walkouts. Crichton the, the shorter, stockier of the pair. Giving up a fair bit of height to, to Josh Reed there. Crichton 5-4, Reed 5-8. Reach advantage as well, but when Crichton can get on the inside and get those short hooks and the cuts going, he carries a lot of power at Bantamweight. Crichton's got some big names on his record as well. Wins over Andy Younger, former Cage Warriors champion and Nathan Grayson in that man's formative years. And He's got a submission win in MMA over a BJJ black belt with Spencer Hewitt, so good on the mat as well as on the feet. Nasty foot stomp there. Yeah, he's in a nice position right now. If he does decide he wants to take this fight to the ground, you know, the advantage, of course, of being a stockier uh, athlete is that you can get low and you've got power in that position. But then the advantage of being the taller athlete, if, this, if you manage to get an underhook when the person's trying to grapple you on the fence, it can keep them elevated over a, a, a height that they're not comfortable being in. So it all depends on the underhooks here, which is really what you should be looking at when you're watching people grapple on the or clinching against the fence. Uh, should be looking at who is dominating the position with the underhook. Yeah. 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 Looking to get some knees to work here and just jockeying for position really with the crazy horse at this stage. One thing we know from both of these guys' previous fights is that it could all explode into a big ball of violence at any second. You see the referee, Rich Mitchell, there just asking for a little bit more from Brighton if he wants to keep his man on the fence here. Yeah, not, not too much acting, you know, some foot stomps, which kind of look, a lot of the time, they look a little bit more damaging than they actually are. Um, Tying up, looks like he's thinking about tying up a guillotine there, but release is very, very happy to release, get out that clinch position, get back in the striking range. He can really use his reach advantage against his opponent. And as the much shorter man, that's one thing for Crichton will have to be wary of the big knees in that clinch or on the separation from the clinch. Oh, nice overhand right in the left hook from Crichton. The crazy horse firing back though. Yeah, both these guys more than happy to take one to give one. Reed really busy with those low kicks so far. Crazy Oz looking for the big left hook there, but Brighton able to negate most of its impact. There for Crichton. Haven't seen him throw too many of those before. Crazy horse coming forward. Oh, nice. Went down low with the right and up high with the left to Crichton there. 
I was talking to Brian just before the event, and he said he's been out of the cage for over a year now. He's not had an opportunity to compete, obviously, due to the situation here in the UK. And he said he's got past the point of nervousness to be excited, and he's getting into a brawl with a crazy horse here. Oh, Reed with a big knee, and it's over! Mitchell calls a stop to this contest after three minutes and 59 seconds of the very first round to claim your winner by way of TKO in the red corner, Josh Crazy Horse Reed. Josh Reed back in the win column with a big knockout, his 11th victory as a professional. 